This is Nina Curley from WAMDA. I'm here in San Francisco chatting over Skype with Faris Zahar, who's in Ramallah. Um, Faris has founded Yam Safar, a Palestine-based travel booking site for the Middle East. And um, he's just closed a $1 million round of funding from Sadara Ventures, which is led by Saad Nashef and uh, backed by Google Foundation, Cisco, George Soros Economic Development Fund, Skoll Foundation, European Investment Bank. Um, it's a big day. This is a big round um, that closed in Palestine. And uh, just here to check in with Fadis on how he plans to spend it. Um, Fadis, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Um, so a million is a lot for a small startup. Um, how do you plan to spend it and scale over the next year? Yeah, well, we're not spending it in, uh, in one month, you know. Uh, I think we still have a realistic burn rate. It's not going to be one year either, right? Um, most of the uh, the money we burn is going to go towards uh, marketing, customer acquisition. Uh, so up until now, most of the conversions we get were from organic traffic. Uh, we're planning to do a lot of uh, SEM activity and uh, some in social media as well. Also, of course, uh, a large portion of the budget is going towards uh, product development, you know, to go mobile and uh, business development to get better r rates and better deals with the hotels to enlarge our hotel inventory. And uh, yeah, we have, we have a lot of uh, activities to, to worry about. And you guys right now operate in, uh, in the market in Palestine and in Jordan. Um, do you plan to expand to the UAE or Saudi markets? Um, it's definitely on our schedule, but I think the UAE and Saudi market are, is, a, is slightly tricky because it's a very uh, competitive market in the online space. Um, and we want to make sure that when we enter a market, we are adding value to the travelers there. So uh, uh, we want to be 100% confident that we do decide uh, to make that step. We, are, we do have uh, really good deals for the hotels there, and we do have a unique inventory uh, of hotels in small and medium-sized uh, cities in these countries. So it's probably going to take a, a little time for us. Uh, right now, we're really looking at uh, Jordan and Lebanon and Egypt uh, in terms of growing our inventory there. But definitely, it's, it's you know, within the next year or two, uh, we do plan to expand there, yes. Will you use the round to hire? How big is your team right now? So our team is made up of uh, six people right now, including the three founders. Um, we will be hiring another five this month and, and probably another five by the end of the, the year. So uh, for us, you know, it's, the team growth is, is uh, significant right now in the next couple of months. Uh, but that's really exciting. Great. Um, and this is your Series A. So you guys have already completed a seed round. How much went into that seed round to get you where you are today? So our seed round was uh, quite small, actually. We seeded the company. The three founders uh, seeded the company with uh, $12,000 uh, exactly a year ago. So uh, we had an average burn rate of $1,000 uh, per month. Uh, obviously, we were given some benefits because we had a free uh, office space given to us and other things. So obviously, these things are very uh, you know, beneficial to startups and the in the early stages, I think it's very important to give them the, the platform to allow them to, to bootstrap and have a very low burn rate. Uh, and then we went on for, for 12 months. Initially, we thought uh, it's going to be less. It's going to be five or six months uh, until we get our first round of funding. But, but uh, that's what happened, and uh, I think it only made us stronger. So It's impressive. I think it's a good inspiration to startups everywhere um, to bootstrap and uh, you know, be, be frugal with your money. Um, how did you know this was the right time to bring on investment? Um, and how did you go with Sadara? Has Saad been helpful in advising you? Um, so about the timing, I, th I think especially the, the, the OTA space right now in the Middle East, because it's, uh, uh, there's not a lot of competition around. I think it's, it's all about uh, speed right now. So speed is, is, a, is a very significant factor in the success of our startup. So um, you know, even even six months uh, before, we were I think we were ready for for a VC round, but that didn't happen, um, unfortunately. So so now we're really going to be scaling customer acquisition because we really want to be uh, uh, the first first to market in a lot of places. I think that's a big advantage here, the first mover advantage. Um, regarding uh, Sadara, you know, uh, 
a major part of the, our decision why we decided to go with Sadara was because of, of the uh, general partners. I think Saad is a great guy, obviously. Uh, they were adding value to us, actually, uh, since the first day we met. So um, way before uh, uh, the closing, they were introducing us to a lot of people and they were giving us very helpful feedback. And, you know, we pivoted a couple of times when Sadara was, uh, you know, they, they were watching and they were also giving us feedback pre-pivot pre and, you know, after the, uh, the pivoting. So it gave us a lot of confidence. And uh, I think that that was very important that, that they were, we had a close uh, communication very uh, before. Yeah, it's, that's, it seems like that's the kind of investment that you want um, to take you through the next uh, few developments. Um, this is setting a big precedent for the entrepreneurship ecosystem in Palestine. It's the first VC deal to close in Palestine. Um, have you seen other startups commenting on it today? You just announced it. Um, or getting excited by the opportunities? Yeah, everybody's uh, really excited here. Everybody's been congratulating us. Um, I think people are really excited. Uh, in general, the ecosystem here is, is uh, quite small, so uh, so everybody knows everybody, and it's very like you know if somebody makes somebody succeeds in something, everybody's happy for him. So so it's nice and cozy. Uh, I think a lot of people are going to be motivated uh, by that because naturally, you know, they're they're going to see uh, light at the end of the tunnel. Um, you know, a couple of months of bootstrapping, and then you have something to to look forward to, right? It's not just bootstrapping forever, and then the company goes bust. So that's what it was like before uh, Sadara was here, I think. Yeah, things are changing. Um, well, I guess now the pressure's on. So uh, we'll look forward to seeing how you guys grow over the next couple of years. Um, and again, congratulations on the closing. Thanks. Thank you.